I'm one of those strange people that loves to pack. Today I thought it would be super fun to do a pack with me video. I'm heading off to Bali very very soon so I wanted to share some of my tips and tricks to avoid overpacking. Also I'll be sharing some of the summer essentials that I'll be bringing with me. Hopefully this will help you if you're heading away soon and need some packing motivation and some ideas as to what to bring. I'm one of those strange people that loves to pack. A few days leading up to the trip I'll start a pile so that is where I just leave my suitcase open and start adding items that I know I'm going to be taking with me and items that I know that I'm not going to be using between now and the trip. That way when I actually come to packing the items I feel like half the work is already done. Another tip is to make sure you do your laundry the night before. I know I sound like a big sister here but there is nothing worse than coming to pack for a trip and finding out that half your clothes need to be washed and then having to wash and wait for it to dry before you can actually pack it in your suitcase. Oh and also to make sure you wash all your makeup brushes a day or so beforehand as well. On to the fun part and that is packing my outfits. For each holiday I usually try and create a mini capsule wardrobe around key themes. So for this Bali trip it will mainly be pastel colours, pinks, mint greens, floral dresses. By creating a mini capsule wardrobe I can create different outfits and mix and match different pieces so I can hopefully avoid overpacking. Usually a good rule of thumb is if I'm going for seven days I'll try and only pack five outfits. I'm bringing four dresses so two casual dresses for hanging out at the resort. I've got two floral dresses for going out for dinners. I've also got this cute pink set to mix and match different looks. I've also got one top that I think will look so cute at the beach, an off the shoulder top, very perfect for getting some vitamin D. I also have one long sleeve top as well, very holiday-esque, oh it even says holiday. I think this would be perfect as a tie around over my swimsuit. I've also got a black pink t-shirt just in case I need something a bit more casual that can also double up as my pyjamas as well. Also I forgot to mention that this is the swimsuit that I'll be bringing along matching with the pastel pinky purpley theme for the holiday. I think this could also double as a bodysuit. I love the ruffling detailing, very flattering silhouette especially if you're trying to hide a bit of dinner from the night before. For accessories I am loving this raffia look and that straw textured look. So this is a little cosmetic case. I think I can use this also as a clutch as well. And how cute is that little darling heart there? For other bags, I've also got this raffia tote bag. This is actually from H&M. I think it is so darling and a great dupe for the Prada bag. I don't think I could justify actually getting the Prada bag. I think what's perfect is that I'm not too precious about this. I think it will go with so many outfits as well. I'm bringing along two straw hats. I probably don't need two, but I love to have different looks. Also to dress up my outfits, I have two raffia belts. I just think that will put together all my outfits. I forgot to mention for the trip to Bali, I'll probably only be bringing one designer handbag and that is my mini Chanel handbag. I think it will be perfect for carrying around the resort and just having your key card and a lipstick and some powder. So I don't think I need much more than that. And I think it's that perfect summery pastel look that will go with every outfit. As much as I love designer handbags, I try and avoid bringing them on holidays where I know I'm going to be outdoors most of the time. So for this one, I'll only bring just the one. Oh, and don't worry, I won't be checking this in. I will definitely be having this in my carry-on luggage. I've made a separate video for that, so definitely check that out after this video if you're keen to see what I carry for long-haul flights. Moving on to makeup. As you can tell, I'm still loving the wicker thing. I won't go through everything, but perhaps to share some of my holy grail products that I'm bringing. I've picked up a couple Korean beauty products that I'm trying. This Peri Pera mascara is like glue. So if you're looking for waterproof mascara, this is a great one, but it is super hard to get off. So you do need to use an oil cleanser after you've used this. 
Also, I try and avoid bringing big bulky eyeshadows, so I always opt to bring only one or two. These are my current go-to, the Can Make One, and this is by a brand called Lily by Red. The Summer Friday Sheer Skin Tint. This is essentially a tinted moisturizer, so it's great for a little bit of coverage, but nothing too heavy and perfect for outdoors. The only thing I don't love about this is that you get such a tiny amount in the bottle. I can imagine using this up in a couple of weeks. Something I've been loving recently is this Anastasia Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. I've been experimenting with that fluffy brow look and this helps to create that. If I'm looking super surprised these days, it's partially because I've been using the brow wax. I'll also pack in there my makeup brushes which have been freshly washed. There's nothing more satisfying than having clean makeup brushes. Moving on to toiletries, I will usually pack makeup wipes. I don't actually use makeup wipes on a daily basis. I find that it actually pulls and tugs at my skin, but it's very convenient for travel. I'll also have lots of sunscreen. These are my current go-to. I will usually have a big bottle of sunscreen with me that I keep at the hotel, but then I'll also have some mini versions that I can put in my handbag and take with me. Sunscreen is so important. I don't remember a day where I haven't worn sunscreen even on winter days. Also all my skincare. I have mini versions of what I'm currently using. This brand is by Emma Lewisham. I believe it's a New Zealand brand, but I really really love her products. So I invested in a mini set uh, of all the cleansers, eye creams, exfoliants, serums. They're all just the mini sizes, which will also go in there. Also packing my mini shaver. How adorable is this little thing? I think it's just so cute. Onto hair care. I'll be bringing my Dyson Airwrap. I quite like this. It's great if you have very fine hair. It helps to add volume and it's very versatile being both a curler as well as a hairdryer. Also, I'll be bringing the mini version of my current shampoo. I always try and invest in smaller versions of my current favorite product. I've also got some a mini version of a dry shampoo, my Preta powder volumizer, as well as my heat protectant. So that will all go in there for my hair care products. Okay, let's pack all of this away. I'd love to know if you are a folder or a roller. Definitely used to fold all my clothes, but now I find that it is much easier to roll the clothes. Hope you guys enjoyed the pack with me video make sure to like and subscribe if you want to follow along for my upcoming travel vlogs this will be my first time to bali so i'm super excited i hope you found some useful tips for your next holiday as well thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see you very soon in bali